Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Iron Man 3406 here with another video for you. If this is your first time tuning in the channel, my name's Nathan. You may notice I look a little different compared to the last video. I uh, had to recently shave off the beard to get onto a site for work, so a uh, little different look here, but the uh, beard's coming back, so don't fret, it'll be, uh, it'll be back in no time. Uh, I'm out here in Spy Hill, and I've had a few requests on the channel to do a walk around of all of our stuff <laughs> um, so I think today is a good opportunity for me to do that um, so I'm gonna start with all the yellow stuff and then I'll go into the egg stuff afterwards but uh, we'll start with all the construction stuff first and uh, give you a tour of that so the first thing you guys have seen this this scraper on the channel before this is a Vickers onions uh, cable type scraper that we recently got all restored and had out in a in an actual or had it on an actual job site last summer i'll put a link up to where that video is if you want to uh, check this thing out hauling some dirt but uh it's a pretty neat old scraper it's still it hasn't been all bastardized with hydraulics so uh so yeah that's our one of our scrapers um this here is a wabco 440h grader um she's the old uh, knuckle buster style no hydraulics it's got a 471 detroit in it um pretty solid old grader next under the sort of coverall building here is an rd7 this you've also seen on the channel before um we did a first sort of startup video on it so again i'll post a a little link up here to some of these videos if you want to go back and check this stuff out on the channel um, but yeah rd7 i'm not going to get into all the uh the years during the video here but i will um i'll post some comments or some notes for the years of all this stuff um so you guys can read it it'll take me too long to go through all the serial numbers and everything um so yeah, rd7 behind the rd7 we've got a cat diesel 40 uh, this has got the old three-cylinder popper in it. Sounds pretty wicked. Uh, I don't know if I have any video of this on the channel. There might be some from a tractor pull um, a couple years ago. But uh, yeah, Cat Diesel 40. Next to the Diesel 40 is our 2UD8. And again, this beautiful old girl. There's some video of uh, this thing in action on the channel as well. Um, it is uh, actually hitched to that Vickers onion scraper so I will uh, again pop a link up to that video but uh, but yeah 2UD8 uh, 1952 if I remember but my grandfather started his road construction uh, operation with a dozer just like this one so there's a little bit of sentimental um, value there for that for this one then we got this D4 egg tractor. Uh, it's got a cool cab on it. It needs undercarriage in the worst way. But uh, we've done quite a bit of engine work to this one. It uh, it runs good now. If you know of anybody who's got tracks, let me know <laughs> in the comments. And then behind the D4 is my 212 uh, cat motor grader. Again, there is some video of this on the channel. There's quite a few videos. Um, most recent one, I went through the uh, through the starting engine, got it all rocking and rolling, um, so I don't need to pull start this thing anymore. But uh, it's a it's a pretty it's in pretty fairly good shape. Um, yeah. So that's my 212. And then in front of the D4 is my number 12. <laughs> So uh, this one uh, is the one that I recently got brought home. It's a 1956. Um, needs a few things here and there, but it's a good solid runner to start with. Okay, so we'll keep going here. So uh, we've got a D8 here. Actually, two D8s uh, side by side. Um, they are 
a work in progress neither one of them run right now um, this one here is a 15a and the other one if I remember I'll just double check to not give any false information is a of course the tags are gone is a 14a so yeah we got a 15a and a 14a uh, d8 here that uh, that are kind of sisters I guess you could say next to that we got a, uh, a 9u pardon me a 7u d4 uh, this is a running tractor D4. Next to that, we've got a 9U D6 here. And then we've got a D7 beside it. <laughs> Grandpa's done quite a bit of work too. D7 and then another D7 <laughs> this one's all set up with the uh, root rake blade on it so those are the D7s well not the last of the D7s there's more more high no back um, but yeah a couple nice D7s here keep motoring through the yard So we've got this old uh, J series D2. It's uh, it's basically a parts donor. <laughs> the tracks are so seized on it that we can't do anything with it. Engine seized. It's uh, it's just a parts donor. And then next to it, we've got another uh, J series D2. This little guy here. Next to or behind it, we've got another 2U D8. Um, it was going to be a full project, but we got to find some engine components before it can go any further than that. So she's uh, a parts donor for the time being, and so is this one. Um, this one actually donated a lot of parts to the the nice shiny 2U that's uh, under the under the coverall building there. And then we got another 9U D6. You know, you can never have enough D6s. Or D7s, because that's another D7. That's a 3T D7 there. Um, it needs a bunch of steering clutch work, but aside from that, it's a good solid, good solid D7. Um, keep tripping over stones here. This is a TD9 with a, nope, this is the wrong one, I apologize, this is an HT4 Caterpillar uh, track loader. Needs a fair bit of work, but we've got it, we saved it. Look at that cool tag. Kramer tractor, big old brass tag, love that stuff. Oh, another side angle of that uh, 3T D7. Again, nice old Kramer sticker there. You know, Kramer back in the day before finning bought them out. Um, just while we're back here, so there's uh, some tires for my 12, a bunch of scrap steel, spare parts, side boom for another D7 that I'll get to in a second here. Yeah, that's all mostly mostly scrap iron, but uh, it's all yellow anyway. <laughs> then we've got our DW21. It's uh, it needs a engine block. It needs a donor. <laughs> we uh, we had a whoops. And we left water in the engine over the winter one winter. 
forgot about it and uh, yeah we cracked the block but anyway she's a nice old brute nice to have a DW21 they uh, not a whole lot of them surviving anymore a lot of guys have cut the scraper off and turned them into like hydraulic scrapers for agriculture work and stuff like that especially around the with how heavy the agriculture is in these parts so it uh, it's nice to have one survive but we'll find an engine for it and get her going again uh, this is one of our cat 60s there is a video of me measuring the counter bores or the bores the cylinder bores on this tractor um, obviously another work in progress then we've got a 3t d7 that's a parts donor um, it, this was a side boom in a previous life but you can see we've robbed lots of parts from it to keep some of the other ones going this is the international td9 so we've got some not we're not just pure caterpillar we got some uh, ih stuff and some cleat track stuff but international td9 did have a loader on it but uh we're we're getting rid of the loader and it's just going to be a a, a drawbar tractor um it runs haven't had it on the channel much just it's way down on the list of projects <laughs> uh this is another one of our cat 60s um this is one that we recovered from the bush about a year and a half ago um it's all complete everything's here it's seized up but uh like anything just needs a little tlc from being sat for so long then we got a big old cleat track fd um this baby also needs some work when we picked it up it was missing the oil pan and one connecting rod cap so we're uh trying to track down some parts for that big old hercules diesel but uh, we'll find parts uh another view of the 60 there and of the cleat track and over here that's uh freightliner truck we use for picking stuff this is another number 12 motor grader um, this one's gonna actually donate a ton of parts to uh, to mine. This one had a bent or broken crankshaft in it, so um, it's gonna donate a lot of uh, a lot of parts on the DCM or the drawbar circle moldboard area. Um, we're actually also gonna take off the. Uh, so this has got a front mount dozer on it and a snow wing, so those will come off of this one, and we're gonna put them on mine. Um, just to make it more of a attachment, attachment full, uh, grader. So, but, uh, yeah, so this one's gonna be a, be a parts donor mostly. And there's an international cab over there. Another project that would be awesome to, uh, get going. It's got a 3406B CAD engine in it. So 3406, Ironman 3406. If you hadn't figured it out, that is where the 3406 comes from it's my favorite cat engine and worked on a lot of them but uh it's a nice cool old international cab over that would just look super cool um going down the highway with a couple of our old machines on a trailer to go to a show inside this big white uh, shop van trailer that's where we keep most of our spare parts just so they're not taking up space in the main shop um, so we keep them all kind of categorized in there and take from them as we need to and then the last second last I guess construction piece as far as the antique stuff goes is this D4 here um, this is a sweet little tractor I like playing with this one it's direct start um, still direct drive but it's a sweet little D4 okay and the last construction or track machine if you want to call it that is our cleat track bg that's uh in sort of primer right now first coat of primer um we pulled this out of the bush about a year and a half ago the same time we pulled that other cleat track out and it was seized and grandpa's been spending some time on it and he's got it all 
running good and so yeah it's uh just waiting for some clee track orange somebody really built a pretty um interesting <laughs> blade setup for this thing that's got a belt pulley on it and then they rigged up all this um belt tensioner setup or whatever and on this and then you got a cable drum here so that's what they use to raise and lower the blade <laughs> it's all homemade blade and somebody did a really nice job of it but uh i think we're actually gonna take it off and just make it back into an egg tractor so it uh yeah we got enough blades around here that uh shouldn't have to worry about having a blade on it especially a goofy homemade one like this so anywho that is the construction stuff or the like i say the track stuff now we'll go back and go through all the uh egg tractors okay so first in the row is a mccormick deering 1530 then we got a cockshut 60 that is the same thing as an oliver 60 just in canada they were sold as cockshuts farmall super c and farmall a this is technically a super a now because it's got a super a engine in it um but yeah this has been in our family for a long time my great grandfather bought this um on the farm that they originally started where my grandpa and all his brothers and sisters were born so it's uh it's been around for for a long time in the family And then we'll move to the next little row over. We've got a little Ferguson. Um, I can't remember the model, but it's a little Ferguson tractor. This is what we use when we're doing our tractor pulls to uh, maintain the track in between in between tractors when the dirt and everything piles up from the back of the sled. So uh, it's a handy little guy for that. They got we got scuff scattered all over the place here, so. I don't know what's gonna be next as far as ag tractors go <laughs> but that's our um, tractor pull sled this is where I spend a few hours every summer running the uh, running the weight box back and forth um, I didn't hit this when I was over here before but this is a track press that we uh, picked up it's uh, currently waiting on some seals. It had been sitting for so long that when we tried to power everything up and run the uh, hydraulic ram, everything pushed out seals and we had a big mess of oil. So um, yeah, we're gonna eventually have a track press so that we can, I guess, um, turn pins and bushings because that'll be fun. <laughs> um, there's another, 1530 relic that one was uh some parts donated for the other one that's all painted up pretty back there this is dad's international 560 um he's been tinkering at it um hopefully he's got it running for the pulls this year but we'll see um a couple of our plows one of these days we're gonna get a plow day going grandpa and i are trying we Tried to use these things and uh, we got to do a little um, maintenance on them before we can get them back in the dirt. But there's a three bottom and a four bottom. I believe they're both IHs, if memory serves me correct. If I'm wrong, somebody will comment in the comments and, and let me know. But, um, but yeah, a couple little plows here. And then Grandpa just picked these two up last week. This is a Ford 9N. Um, it's a complete tractor. It just needs a little TLC. And I got a W6. Pardon me, a WD6. Um, basically got it for nothing. So how do you say no? <laughs> um...
Then we have an Oliver Super 88. It smokes and makes lots of noise, but it always is reliable and fires up. And then over here, we got a couple more. So we got a, uh, sorry about the wind. It's windy picked up since I got started at this. Minneapolis Moline uh, Model U. Um, don't know much about it. We just got this last year. Um, yeah, picked it up at an auction sale. So I don't know too much about it other than that. And then we got a Cockshot 40. Um, again, same as an Oliver 40, just in Canada they were sold as Cockshots. And then we'll go inside the shed where there's a couple more. So we got a John Deere Diesel 70. They go two cylinder, they sound nice. I'm not a huge John Deere guy, but uh, it's a cool little tractor, runs good. Then we got a W6, I knew there was a W6 somewhere. Uh, and then we got this Massey Harris Senior 101. This actually, believe it or not, came all the way from Arizona. Um, Grandpa brought it back one winter after they'd been down there holiday and <laughs> rented a U-Haul and did the adventure back home pulling a tractor from Arizona, but uh, um, those are the the ag stuff. Um, just while I'm wandering to the shop, so again, that's all the uh, everyday main operation equipment for the road building, heavy civil stuff that my uncle looks after now. So, all kinds of shiny yellow goodness out there. Like I said, last but not least, we got a MD here. So that is all the tractors here. All right, so now that I'm back home, uh, I got a couple here as well that are part of the collection. This is my uh, 1933 25. I don't know if you've seen that one on the channel before or not. And then, you've definitely seen this one on the channel. This is my D2, uh, 5U 9246. It's a good little tractor. And then, uh, that carcass there is a 22. Uh, it's a work in progress. All the future channel stuff. But uh, these are the couple that I got here at home. So. Okay, everybody, that is going to conclude this uh, video. Like I say, I had a bunch of people asking to do a walk around of all our stuff here. So that's the quick and dirty. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you got any questions on anything that you've seen here or wondering more about it, just leave me a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it. But uh, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, don't forget, I am Iron Man, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.